Hello. Hello. Um, yeah. Hi and welcome and thank you for joining me on this grey and rainy day. Uh, my name is Jem I'm from Under the Olive Tree Knits and I am a knitting pattern designer, yarn dyer and yeah, I own Under the Olive Tree Knits where I sell knitting patterns, hand dyed yarns, knitting kits, um, tools, there's tutorials on there, there's accessories, there's lots of fun things over there so do be sure to go and check it out. It's www.underthealivetreenits.com. Um, so yeah, thank you for joining me today. I've got some things that I want to show you. I've been busy working on some new products for the shop um, just in time for Christmas so these uh, products I think will make really nice little stocking fillers or gifts for Christmas so I'm really excited to show you what I've been working on. Um, so I'm going to start off by showing you um, some little gift sets that I've put together. Um, so these are, ooh, the lighting's quite bad. So these are needle gauge and stitch marker gift sets. And what you get in the box is a little, uh, this one is a sheep, oh the light's really bad, sorry. A sheep um, knitting needle gauge. Um, and also you get a set of stitch markers as well. And they come in this pretty tin here. Um, and I'll show you, I'd put some on a, a bit of ribbon so I could easily show you kind of the stitch markers that you get in the tin, uh, which are very shiny and reflective. Um, but yeah, you get a set of five different um, sheep themed stitch markers to go with the sheepy needle gauge. Um, so, and they come in a nice little presentation box as well. Um, they are also available to order separately, so you can get the gauge and these stitch markers separately too. So I've got the sheep set, and I've also done a little rabbit set as well. So in the rabbit box, you get a little rabbit stitch gauge, needle gauge even. And also you get a little set of rabbit stitch markers and they look something, oops, he's caught up a little bit, but they look something like this. So they're all like silver um, stitch markers and they come with a range of clasps as well. So you've got the fixed ring, you've got lever back and lobster claw as well. So the sets um, they come with mixed um, clasps, but you can, if you wanted them all lobster claw or if you wanted them all lever back or fixed, um, that's perfectly doable. So just send me a note um, if you want them as a particular type of clasp. So that's the rabbit one. And then because I am a crazy cat lady, I have done a little cat one as well. So in the cat box, you get a little cat themed stitch gauge, needle gauge. Um, and also a set of cat themed stitch markers and they look, you actually get six in this one. Um, you get, uh, little, there's a little mouse at the end there as well. So you've got five cat themed ones and then a little mouse at the end. Um, so they all come in the stitch marker tin. Um, so these are all available on the website. They've been added this week. Um, so you can find them under um, Nitty Extras category on the website if you want to look for those. Um, continuing with the, with the stitch markers, I'll just show you some that have been quite popular. Um, I've done some little snowflake stitch markers, which you can see here. Um, so you get six snowflake stitch markers in the tin. Um, and there's lots of different designs as well. So you'll get six kind of random snowflake designs. Um, and again, they come in a little tin uh, for safe storage, uh, sort of light out, but yeah, it's got a little tree design on the front of the tin there. Um, so as I mentioned, the needle gauges and the stitch markers are also available to um, to buy separately. There are lots of other different themed sets of stitch markers on the website too to choose from. Um, lots of different ones, and uh, needle gauges. I've also got um, just a round one it's got a ball of yarn design in it and this one's got a little clip as well so you can clip it onto your project bag um, 
and then it's always handy because um, as you know as you knit the the numbers on your needles can rub off sometimes so it's always handy to have one of these in your project bag so you can always check your needle sizes if if, uh, if it rubs off um so as well as the stitch marker sets i have also been working on some uh, coasters so i've got three designs at the moment but there will be more designs coming um, next week um, but i've got this one which says tea and knitting um, this one which is coffee and knitting and this one which says if I'm sitting I'm knitting and it's all backwards so apologies for that they are actually right right the right way around on the coasters um but these are made from oak veneered uh, MDF so they're quite sturdy they're about five mil um in thickness so they're nice and solid they've got a stockinette stitch engraved on them and uh, they're finished with uh, clear varnish as well so uh, protection against spills and, and everything and then they've also got a nice soft cork back as well so they won't go slip, slip sliding all over your coffee table um, so as I mentioned I've got three designs at the moment I have got um, more to come um, I think I've got uh, wine and knitting gin and knitting beer and knitting all the essentials basically um, but there will be more uh, that will be going in the uh, shop hopefully next week i'm going to run some more off uh, this uh, tomorrow hopefully and they'll be ready to go so at the moment they're available individually but they will be available as sets as four as well uh, as sets of four um, when i put them into the shop so that's all the uh, products that i've um, put onto the shop this week and um, as i mentioned you can find them on the website under nitty extras um, and now I want to show you a new design that I've got coming out in December. Um, so this, whoops, this is going to be a new shawl design, which is going to be released on the 9th of December. So it, it's quite a large one. It's a asymmetric shawl and it takes, it uses three colours. So it's two 100 gram skeins for the body and one for the lace border and then one little mini skein for the contrast colour stripes in the middle. Uh, this is called Across the Valley and it's going to be, as I mentioned, live um, on the 9th of December but I am going to open up um, pre-order kits for it which will be available as soon as I come off this live I'll, I'll make them live on the website um, so I'll just tell you a bit more about the shawl so as I mentioned it's asymmetrical you start at the tip here and I don't know if you can see but it's got this really nice slip stitch pattern going on which makes it really cozy and textured and then what's really fun is when you get to the contrast colour so you add the mini skein at this point, but it uses exactly the same slip stitch pattern that you've already been using for the body. But by adding in a contrast colour, it takes on a, a totally different look. So it totally transforms that stitch pattern. Um, and by this point, you're really used to working this stitch pattern. So by adding in another colour, it's, it's quite an easy one to do, just um, sitting in front of the telly and um, you, know, you don't have to think too much about it. So. So you get to the contrast stripe, so you use the mini skein and then you also use the same colour that you use for the border to work the stripes. And then the border is just a nice deep border of lace. And again, this is quite an easy to work lace pattern, um, which grows really quickly. Um, but if you didn't want to make the uh, border as deep as that, you can, of course, just kind of finish it whenever you want. So you could make a much shallower border if you wanted to. Um, so, yeah, it's a lovely cozy shawl it's i like wearing my asymmetric shawls as scarves but it's a really nice one just to kind of cozy up in and because it's the slip stitch is like double thickness it is really warm um so yeah so the pre-orders for the kits will be going live um as soon as i finished here um you will get this is what the kit looks like so you will get two skeins of 100 grams uh, 400 meters of 100 percent superwash merino in four ply and then you also get the mini skein here as well in the contrast color so you get the three colors um 
the kits are in these colours but if you did want different colours that's perfectly doable just drop me a message and let me know what colours you would like in the kit and that's that's um, I can dye them up for you um, kits also come with a pattern um, and a stitch marker and you've also got the option to add on a needle as well if you wish so this one takes a 3.75 mil needle um, so you can add that to your kit so again these make lovely gifts uh, for Christmas so um, the kits will go live and if you place an order for a kit before the 1st of December I am doing 10% off so if you use the code ah that's not going to show yyf10 that will get you 10% off a pre-order of the across the valley shawl kit um so yeah i've got lots of other different shawl kits available on the website as well um so one of my more popular ones which is this one uh, this is called lasso the moon and it's a one skein shawl pattern and this also comes um, as a kit as well and with most of my kits when you buy the kit you get the pattern for free so that also um, that also applies to the across the valley shawl kit so if you do do a pre-order on the on the kit you will get 10% off and you'll get the pattern for free as well so win-win um, but yeah for quite a lot of my my kit pattern my kits I do do the pattern for free and you can also choose the, your colour yarn as well and quite a lot of them um, so for this one Lasso the Moon so you could choose this are just a few examples of the kind of yarns that I have in my shop um, I've got lots and lots of different colours in there so you can choose whichever colour you like um, from the shop to put in your kit um, so or it, I can custom dye yarns as well um, I do have um, on the website you there are a lot of custom dye colours that you can choose and I've also got a range of bases so anything from lace weight up to a chunky yarn so you can choose your base and then choose which colour you would like your yarn to be dyed um, so that's another thing uh, that I offer as well um, so yeah I think I'm nearly uh, running out of time so before I go I just want to actually I'll just quickly show you another one skein shawl pattern because it's here um, this is an asymmetric shawl pattern and this one's got beads on it so I thought this one might be quite a nice one for kind of the, the festive period if you're looking for something a little bit sparkly and, um, and beady and again this takes one skein and it's available as a kit so you get the yarn you get the beads with this one they're hiding somewhere you get the beads you get the pattern and you can add on the um the needle as well if you wish um so again the kits do make really nice uh, christmas gifts if if you're looking at uh, something like that um so i think that's about everything from me and I just want to say thank you so much for joining this afternoon um, I've been loving watching all of the videos throughout the day and I'm looking forward now to just relaxing with a cup of tea and my knitting and watching the, the rest of the videos for the afternoon so thank you thank you Sophie for organizing as well um, it's been a really good day and again thank you for joining me um, you can find me www.undertheolivetreenits.com or on Instagram, I'm at Olive Tree Gem. So that's bye from me and hope to see you again soon. Take care. Bye bye.